Hi, let's do this problem. Find the equation of the line tangent to this curve at the point 1 comma 0 0.8. Alright, we're going to do this the same way we did the previous example. We're going to use a secant line to approximate the tangent line and get its slope by um, using Desmos. So let's look at, uh, look at this. I've already got it put into Desmos. I've got the function here. I've got the point 1 comma f of 1. f of 1 is 0.8. You can see that there. And uh, the other point I'm going to just move around. Now if I move it back over here and get it close to 1, we can see that the tangent line is going to be somewhere between that line and this line. So somewhere in this sort of neighborhood. So I'll tell you what let's do. Well, first off, if I put in just a 1 for b, notice it makes our slope undefined. So what I need to do is look at uh, what happens when the slope is slightly bigger than 1. Now, right now it's giving us these uh, decimals, or these fractions, which are not very, uh, not very helpful. But uh, if I take this and I start making this get closer and closer to 1, we can see that the slope is getting closer and closer to, looks like closer and closer to one, negative 1 1.3. And similarly, if I put b as being slightly less than 1, 1249 over uh, 1000, that's close to negative 1 1.3. But if I keep making this closer and closer, notice that slope m gets close to negative 1 1.3. So we're going to guess that the actual slope of the tangent line is negative 1 1.3. So m tangent is negative 1.3. So that's the hard part. Now all we really have to do is use this point and this slope to come up with the equation of the line. So I'll do y minus 0.8 equals negative 1.3 times x minus 1. When I move that 0.8 over to the other side, I get minus 1.3x plus 2.1. So that should be my equation of the tangent line. So if we go back to Desmos and just graph that, let's see, I'm going to move this up here so it's nice and visible. Y equals negative 1.3x plus 2.1. Sure enough, we get the tangent line there. I'm going to turn the other stuff off so it's not as uh, cluttered. But yeah, if we zoom in there, that is the tangent line there at that point. Now, I did this using Desmos, and you might say, how could I do this without using a computer? Well, the answer is, it's not really that much more complicated, but it does take longer just because you have to do the stuff by hand. What you'd have to do would be calculate these slopes by hand or, or with your calculator and then see what they get to. So really the only thing Desmos is doing for us here other than letting us see things is it's also letting us compute these slopes not really easily. Alright, so that's our uh, the equation of our tangent line.